Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that I get asked a lot, and that's getting a really clean finish on your bevels directly off the grinder. Now, this is something I've messed with for years to try to get it to where I'm really happy with the finish, and I definitely have it to where, well, I at least love the finish I get. So, I'm working on a batch of my Nesmic models, and um, let me show you kind of what it starts as. Um, you can see it's got a real big belly, and I do a full flat grind with these knives. Now, this technique um, doesn't, I mean, you can take it for what it is if you're not doing a full flat grind, but it's specific to a full flat grind today. So the end result that we're gonna go for here is this right here. And you can see I've got a really clean transition from the flat to the bevel. Nice, even lines here. I mean, you're not trying to get all your grind lines out, you know. Um, you just want everything clean and even and smooth, in my opinion. So, if you want to kind of know how I do my full flat grinds off the grinder, make sure you watch this video, and um, hopefully you guys learn something. So, the first step to doing this, um, at least what I like to do, is this is surface ground. Sorry, it's kind of oily. But you get the idea. It's uh, surface ground to a 220 grit finish. Now, um, you can take that up as high as you want to, but what I find is a 220 really looks good when it's all said and done. Um, so all of these are surface ground that I'm working on right now. And then the next step, what I like to do is I take a little bit of blue tape and I put it where my file guide clamps onto. Now, if you don't have one of these file guides, you can make one like I did. Um, it's just uh, some heat treated O1 tool steel tapped and it gives you that really clean, crisp plunge that you're going for. Now, I'm really picky um, about the fit and finish of my knives, especially when you're doing a full satin finish like this or uh, whatever you want to call it. I call it a satin finish. Um, and that, that's why I put that piece of tape and over where my file guide goes. So you're not going to get any scratches on that flat part of the knife um, after you grind it. Because if you just bolt this on here, uh, you'll end up getting little scratches. And I'm just really picky about that. So you can see here how clean... Oh, it's, oil, it's oily again, sorry guys, but you can see how clean that transition is from the flat of the knife to the bevel. And that is kind of uh, just something I'm really picky about. So put a little piece of tape on there and then you'll grind right up to it and you won't have a problem. So we're ready to uh, get the respirator on and grind this knife. Now I'm gonna start with a 36 grit belt. Um, to do my bevels down to probably about 25 thousandths and then maybe 30 thousandths and then I bring the edge of this down to about 15 thousandths. So from that 36 grit to the 220 grit belt, you're moving a little bit of material but you're really just refining that scratch pattern and making it look cleaner every step of the way. So I'm gonna jump on the grinder here, throw a 36 grit on here and um, I'll show you guys kind of my progression as I go. So got the 36 grit on. Um, first step of this is use fresh belts. Um, even though uh, flat grinds can kind of be a little bit easier uh, than your normal bevels, um, I still recommend really fresh belts. Um, that way you get an even finish. I see a lot of people that will do flat grinds and you, I can see that they kind of skipped a little bit of a step probably on that 60 or 120 grit belt and didn't use a fresh one. Um, and it's not as even as what it should be. So that's the first step. Buy Red Label Abrasives belts and use fresh ones. Like this is a, I ground one knife with this. Um, I just ground that first one with this set of belts and I'll probably be able to grind all three knives with this set of belts. And then after that, um, you know, you don't have to throw away the belts, just use them for maybe your surface grinder or handle profiling, stuff like that. Um, that way you get your best uh, bang for your buck with your belt. So I'm gonna kick this on, uh, get these bevels set with the 36, and then we'll go on to the next. I didn't talk about it, but I did my layout die on the bevel too, and I put my center scribe line in. Um, you know, that goes with the grinding all bevels. So 
I didn't put that in the video. So let's get to grinding. Okay, so as you can see, that 36 grit really hogs off material fast. Um, I run it pretty much wide open, about 90% power on the grinder, and I'm using the KMG TX grinder um, with the VFD, uh, great setup, and I absolutely love it. So anyways, let me show you kind of where it's at. You can see I've got this almost all the way to full flat. You can see a little bit left here, and you know bring that up as high as you you're comfortable with i do this a lot so i know not to take it up too far after my final grits because then you can kind of cut into that top and you don't really want to do that so but you can see um everything's good and even and we are at 20 let's see i don't know how to read these things accurately i'm not like a machinist but it's at about 20 eight thousandths i believe is the correct way to read that so i don't remember what i said in the beginning of this but um right around there and then i'm going to bring this down to maybe around fifteen thousandths at the edge um and so that gives you a little bit of leeway with those uh next grits to remove a little bit of material and really refine those aggressive 36 grit scratches now when i do this um i go from a 36 and the next grit up is a 60. Um, and again, like I said, these are pretty much brand new belts. Um, you can get two or three knives out of them to where they're, uh, as far as bevels go. And then I like to uh, slow my speed down a little bit as I progress with the belt. So like, for example, I was at 90. I'm going to kick this down to about 65 or 70 uh, for those 60 grit. And with this... Uh, you're really, it's hard to explain without having you guys here to show you, but you're really refining those 36 grit scratches. You want to make sure all of your 36 grit scratches are out with the 60 grit, just like hand sanding, um, but it takes a little more practice because it's harder to tell. You can't uh, change the way you put your scratches in like you can hand sanding to see what's left. So you really have to just practice with this and what happens is you'll get to where you're at your 220 grit finish and you'll see where you might have went a little too fast with a certain grit. You'll have to go back through it and fix that. So that all comes with practice. So just uh, take your time on these finer grits. Make sure you're cutting evenly throughout the whole bevel. Um, and I guess my only tip on this is do a couple extra passes than what you think you need to do. That way, everything's gonna be clean and crispy. And if you have to leave more meat on the edge on that 36 grit grind, then do that um, so you're safe on those finer grits. Okay, so now we're going to the 120 grit and you can see I've got it all the way full flat and it's even. Now, when you go back and you kind of look at your knife as you're grinding this, you'll see maybe at, towards the tip where you missed a little bit on that previous pass. So watch it, you know, do a pass, take it off, look at it, make sure you didn't miss any on the grip before or else it'll just save you a little time in the long run. So now we've got the 120 grit on here. Again, I'm slowing it down to probably 55 to 60% power on the VFD. And we're really just refining it. We're trying, we're not gonna remove much material at all from the edge. We're just at about final thickness. Um, and the one thing I want to talk with you guys about, and it's, it's this is always really hard to show, but your plunge 
is this is where you can really start adjusting your plunge at as far as how even this is. And I'm really picky about that as well. Um, and a lot of it comes down to the tracking on your grinder. Now, I know you think you slap this file guide on and you'll automatically have good even plunges if you grind to your center line, but it's not uh, foolproof. So as you're doing your 120 grit, really watch your plunge um, and make sure you are evening it up. So if you uh, have your tracking the same on both sides, that way your belt is riding in the exact same spot on both sides of your bevel and it keeps that plunge really, really clean and even um, like this one is. And again, I have a really hard time showing this because it just doesn't show up good in the camera. But you can see how good and even on both sides that plunges. Everything's really good and square and looking good. So 120 grit, slow it down, few passes with this, and I'll show you what it's looking like. Okay, so after 120, you can either go to a 180 ceramic belt, um, but or I like to use these Trizac belts. Now this is an A100, you can see A100, and these have these little kind of bricks of abrasives in them. And what I find is these are a little bit more forgiving on getting a really clean, flat grind. Um, you know, with these, I like to use really light pressure and I go really slow with them, um, and just light, light pressure and just a couple passes. And it gives you a really, really nice finish. Um, so that's the first trick. Then after that, I like to go to a coarse surface conditioning belt. And this is a pretty fresh one. This is almost brand new. And then, <laughs> this is a lot of belts kind of, I go to a worn out coarse surface conditioning belt. Um, I really like the way the, the brand new one, um, it evens everything out even more, makes things really crisp and even, but then that worn out one gives it a little bit of a polished look and um, I just really like the results. So that's the way I do it. I've bought the medium, the fine, all those different Scotch-Brite belts. Um, and I find the coarse ones just give me the finish that I really like. So you guys can do whatever you want with that, but that's what works for me. So again, A100 Trizac belt, um, and then I'm gonna slow it down to about 40% power, really light pressure, just a few passes. And I'm again, I'm just kind of looking as I grind to make sure everything's even and I've gotten rid of that last 120 grit uh, belt uh, grind line. So let's kick it on and uh, we'll finish this knife off. All right guys, just a few passes with that. Now a couple passes with this really coarse service conditioning belt. Uh, and then the finer belt, well not the finer, but the worn out surface belt. And then I'll show you guys kind of how it's looking and um, explain a couple more things. All right, so we are done with that final surface conditioning belt. Uh, those I run on about 40% power as well. Um, and you know, take all this stuff for whatever you guys want. You know, everybody does stuff differently. I just wanted to kind of show you guys my process for this grind. Now I just popped off the, uh, file guide and then you can see when you pop your tape off you get just a really nice clean finish and let me show you because this really does work pretty good for me and um this knife is stainless it's 440c um so you have to which is a little easier to get a really nice clean finish because when you're using your high carbon steels and trying to do this you will end up with a little rust um, on your flats a lot of times uh, if you do it this way. So 
Uh, sometimes I like to put a little ax wax right on that flat part if I'm grinding a high carbon steel knife. But let's see if I can show you guys what this is looking like. You can see that flat part is really clean. And that's what I really like. And you can also see all your grind lines are nice and even. Now you're not, like I said, you know, this isn't a hand sanded finish. It's just a really nice, clean, off the belt finish for a user knife that really works good. Um, I've been doing these a lot and I get a lot of good feedback on them. You can see how even that is. Let's measure our edge thickness to see how close I am to what I was telling you guys. And we're at six, 16,000. So um, that's really good. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I kind of had to rush through this a little bit because I still have uh, five more knives to grind today so I can get them prepped for handles tomorrow. So anyways, Hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this video. I've been asked a lot about this, so I thought I should finally put together a quick uh, video on this process. Now, if you guys are not doing full flat grinds, it's basically the same process, uh, except for I don't use the surface conditioning belts because they will really blend in your bevel, and that's a big pet peeve of mine. Um, I really don't like it. If you're not doing a full flat grind, Make sure your bevel is really crispy. And those Trizac belts do a great job with that. Um, just take your time, use fresh belts. Um, take all this stuff for whatever you want. And if you do stuff differently um, and you have some advice for me on getting a better belt finish, uh, drop it in the comments below. I'm always trying to improve my game and uh, learn just like you guys are. So hopefully you like this video and thanks for watching. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you're interested in any of my knives, there's always a link in the description below how to get a hold of me. Um, I'm really easy to contact and I'd love to work with you. So like always, guys, thanks for watching.